94 miles to London, two hours, 20 minutes journey, only 7 a.m. Let's do this. All right, guys, so we're en route to London now. I've been driving for about two hours. I'm literally about 20 minutes away now. I stopped off for a Costa coffee. You know how it is. I gotta stop off, you gotta chill out. 20 minutes left until I'm at the shopping center. Because what I'm gonna be doing is, we'll be doing a bit of shopping beforehand, get some fresh new outfits, fresh new clothes, and all that sort of stuff. And then I'm going into central London to explore, see Big Ben, see the Buckingham Palace, see it all. I can't wait. Love it, love it. So good. All right, back on the road. Let's do this. We've arrived at the destination. The school. We're here. We have arrived in London and I forgot to explain what I'm actually doing. So I'm going to Central London today, doing a bit of shopping. I want to see Central London, all the landmarks. But first we arrive at the shopping centre. I'm doing a bit of shopping because I need some fresh new outfits. You know how it is. It's early in the morning. I've had nothing to eat. I'm going to get some breakfast. bits and trying on right now. Looking fresh, you know how it is. Hey, hey, hey. Got one t-shirt, two t-shirts, some shorts as well. I just need summer outfits. I've got no summer outfits, so I'm trying those on now. Looking fresh, boys, looking fresh. Hey, look at this. This is like, well, we're looking like the color combination, forget that. I'm just trying on t-shirts right now. I'm gonna go to loads of different shops, so I need different outfits. Can we just talk about these change rooms though? Look at the lighting. The aesthetic in here is beautiful. Come on, I wanna get changed. In style, the lighting is great. First shop down, copped all three items, you know how it is. Now we're gonna get some shoes and stuff. Back, done loads of shopping, got copped some new shoes. So if I'm looking fresh in a vlog, be like, yeah, I know. But I can't wait to head into central London. It's been a while since I've last been here, so I'm excited to see you. Central London, Big Ben's over here. Nice and busy today. As always, London's so busy. There was a Big Ben going off. Perfect timing. Now going over to the Buckingham Palace. Look how busy London is today as well. Holy shit. It's the hottest day of the year in the UK, so everyone's come to Central London. Thanks for that Big Ben. I really do appreciate it. Heading to Buckingham Palace, we go. I just can't get over how busy it is. <laughs> Jesus will return soon. If I'm alive when Jesus returns, I'm a lucky man. Here's a better view of it. House of Parliament, Big Ben. I can't even see in front of me. There's so many people. Ah. Just going in a straight line. I'm pretty sure the Buckingham Palace is that way. Oh, old school telephone. The old school telephones are so popular here that everyone's queuing up to get photos with them. Where I live, there's so many. I'm like used to this sort of stuff. It is so hot today as well. I, I am burning a light. Buckingham Palace. Let's see where the queen used to live, where the king, they don't even live there, do they? But yeah, we're gonna see it. It's pretty cool, I've been there before. Oh, here it is, we're here. The random statue, I don't know why it's there. And the palace itself. It's so busy, I'm touching a statue. Ah, touch the statue. But where are the guards? I just wanna see the guards. We're here, I just wanna see the guards right now. Imagine one of the guards just went crazy and starts doing, you know, whatever, whatever. There's the guards. What are you doing here then? That must be the most boring job in the world. England, England. What a nice view I have of everything right now. Buckingham Palace over here, statue there, the city of London all in the background. Just chilling, sitting on some thing right now. I'm just like struggling what to do next, to be honest. I've done now Buckingham Palace, I've done the London Eye. Big Ben all around there. Now I've got to establish where I'm going next, which I don't even know what else is around London. Obviously there's the big like rows or like Oxford Street, Piccadilly, all those sort of massive landmarks. I might just go to to say I've done the full experience of London, you know, England, England. You know what I mean? I'm here for the day. I want to travel and see as much as possible. Just chilling right now on some stairs at the Buckingham Palace. The palace is crazy. Once upon a time, kings and I definitely did live in there back in the Stone Ages and all that. I don't know the history. Don't quote me on it. Even though I'm at like the biggest landmark in the UK, the biggest historical thing this country has to offer, I don't know any of it. <laughs> and I'm British too. Hola, bueno. Hola, bueno. Hola, bueno. Oh, fuck. Messed it up. Hola, bueno. Dios. Why can't I say three words in Spanish right now? Hola, buenos dias. Hello, good morning. Hi. Even though it's the afternoon and they're probably not Spanish, I don't care. Don't care. 
<laughs> one song that keeps popping into my head as well as I'm in London is It's the number one champion sound, yeah, as a star we bout to get down Get down, you're the hardest in the world right now Just touch down in London town Still repping the Yeezys, you know how it is Even though Kanye's a bit controversial these days His early 2000s music and back in the day, he was an icon. Just in the last couple of years, he's gone a bit crazy with his with his theories and his values on things. I think next on the agenda is to get a drink or something because it is hot, very, very hot. And I know like people from other countries watch, like American people watch, Spanish people watch, and you're like, oh, it's it's 30 degrees every day here in my country. Shush. When you're when you're born in the UK, you understand we're not used to hot weather. So when it's even slightly hot, this shit is dangerous. Drinks have been acquired and I'm on route to the first street, which is Trafalgar Square. The first one we got to, whatever that is in the middle of like a concert, I guess or something's gone on. This is the first town, very nice, probably my favourite one on the Monopoly board. I wanna jump in the wall right now. Can you jump in the oh, okay, no entry. So that's Trafalgar Square done. One of my favorite ones on the Monopoly board. Now heading over to Piccadilly, which is just around the corner as well, so it's not a far walk. Oh, that is very cool. That is sick. Nice one, bro. Nice little chalk drawing. Whilst I'm heading down to Piccadilly. Piccadilly, cool as duty, you know how it is. My home, this is. Search and destroy Modern Warfare 2019. You know how it is. It works. Does it ring? Hello? Yeah, like and subscribe, yeah, will do. All right, thank you very much. Okay, yeah, cheers, bye. They said like and subscribe right now, otherwise, you're not, I don't like you. The game is the game, I didn't say it, it was the guy on the telephone that said it. Whoever you are, thank you. Oh my God, we are here. Here it is, Piccadilly. Wow, it's literally the exact same as the Call of Duty map. The kind of trick shots I've hit off this middle map part here. I don't remember all these people though, like, are these on Call of Duty? Uh, what the hell? Where do all these people come from? It's so busy here. There's only 12 players in the Call of Duty game, I swear. And I'm still the absolute goat of Call of Duty, don't doubt me. Oh, you don't think I'm that good anymore? You don't lose it, COD players never lose it. Just approaching Mayfair, I've went past this Mayfair hotel, I'm guessing, and look at the cars outside. Nice for Ferrari there. Ooh. My favorite one of them all right here. Look at this. Oh my days. So look at all this. I'm not even a car person, but this shit is so nice. Makes you like cars when you're seeing supercars everywhere you go in Mayfair. So we're here, we're in Mayfair, and you know we're here when there's a bloody Bentley and Ferrari garage next to each other. I'm not bougie enough for Mayfair. Like, come on, I can't be here. I had to lower my child's allowance from two million to one million dollars last year. Bougie, bougie, bougie. Everyone's here in their beautiful suits, looking sick, looking rich. And I'm here with t-shirt, shorts, and I'm burning to death. I've seen one too many Ferraris to piss me off now. Ugh.